Good after. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, as you all may know, uh, I am taking some time off uh, to heal and to become stronger and mentally, physically. One of the things that I have decided to do, and the Lord had placed on my heart to do it, was to do a program called uh, Positive Affirmations by Judge V. And what I want to do is, I want to take an issue uh, daily, and I'm going to tackle it, and I'm going to give you some positive ways in order to confront what we're going through or what you're going through. And I'm also going to ask that, you know, if you want to, turn my necklace around, this is my first time, so please, you know, to inbox me with some concerns that you have that I can potentially address. Today's topic is don't let the battle make you better. What do you mean? Simple. Many times when we are confronted with change, uh, we become very fearful. Uh, we want things to remain the same. The more things that are negative that can happen in our lives, we sometimes somehow start to feel like, what have I done to deserve this? Why me? You know, did I deserve this? I'm a better person. Uh, I don't want this outcome. What it is, it's an opportunity for you to grow. For many women, you know that when you are pregnant, there is a seed, and that seed is fertilized. And there's a process by which that seed grows. Then comes the challenging part, and that is the birth. The birthing process is one of the most painful processes that any person can endure. The body can take 12 forms of pain. Your body goes through maybe 25 points. But what we realize is that there is a benefit from that pain. And so we endure it. But in life, we don't do that. You know, when we are uh, faced with new and challenging circumstances, instead of saying, you know, what is the lesson? We want to somehow go back to the way it was. That's not how you grow. And what you have to realize, whether you're plagued with uh, uh, sickness, loss of job, relationship, what is the lesson that is being taught to me? And when you step back and you understand that in order for you to grow, you have to birth forth change. When you do that, then you allow yourself to not have anxiety, to not have anger, and most importantly or not, to not have pity about your situation. See, you can't get to the mountaintop if you stay in the valley. And so what happens is, is that in life, there are certain situations that we are presented with not to destroy us, but to make us grow. And that's what we have to be able to focus on. You know, I indicated to you that I'm not going to take very long, but one of the things I remember when my daughter was very young, we had to do a study on topsoil. Topsoil is the best soil because it's made from dead animals. It's made from death. But even God can use uh, death to bring forth life. And what you have to understand when you're going through your testimony, when you're going through your season of change, don't be bitter about it. What happens is that most of the time people get halfway through the process and they give up. And they have to keep they do going. And they see the same situation in other people. Why well, I'm not getting hit? Because you didn't go through the birthing process. No pain, no gain. So what you have to do is, after you have your pity party and say, why me, this is not fair, you have to emerge with an understanding that I've come this far by faith and I'm not going to let my faith destroy me. And what I have to do is sit back and prepare myself for the birthing. What is the birthing? You know, don't focus on the battle. Focus on the victory. Your testimony is how you handle your test. So many times you, we want to say, well, why did I get that bad diagnosis? You know, why am I losing my house? Why am I losing my car? Why is my relationship failing? People are looking at you to determine how you deal with your test. 
And if what you say and preach to them is different from how you react, then what you are is simply a person who's not true, and you also are a hypocrite. So what we have to be able to do is to move forward. Thank you, Naomi, for telling me she's going to do my makeup. She said because my makeup was horrible. But you got to go through the birth process. In order for you to bring forth destiny, you have to go through that birthing process. How long does it take, Judge? I don't know. You know, but it's not going to be something that is quick. I want to challenge you to do something. Think back five years ago to the person that you were and how those changes, those challenges made you better. It made you stronger. Life won't stop. And what you have to do is be courageous enough to go forward, to birth forth your miracle. Your destiny is waiting. And if you run back halfway through, you'll never get what you were designed to have. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this has been Affirmations, Positive Affirmations by Judge V. And I'm going to bring these to you daily, different topics. As I said before, don't focus on the battle, but the victory. Your testimony is how you handle your test. And go through the birth process to birth forth your destiny. This has been Judge V. Have a great day. I love you all. Bye-bye.